I made a list of all the specialties that exist in the USA. I myself was shocked to see the number of specialties there are. Can you guess how many there are? In this video, I'm going to tell you the best PGs you can pick in your home country if your overall plan is to transition to the USA, Canada or other countries. Let's do this together. Number one, thankfully, is most IMG's favorite internal medicine. This is because there are a lot of positions in internal medicine for residency, subsequently for fellowships, and also for being an attending physician position if you think you're eligible for that. So I would put that as one of the top ones. The next one on the list is the subspecialties of internal medicine. In many countries, the residency is structured in such a way that they can directly do one of the internal medicine subspecialties. For example, I have talked to IMGs who have directly finished their medical school or medical college and have directly taken cardiology training. If you belong to one of those countries, then these are the internal medicine subspecialties you can focus on. The next on the list is pediatrics. Pediatrics and its subspecialties. The way you want to think about what to do PG is those specialties that actually have interventions in the USA tend to be a lot more competitive. Now, internal medicine doesn't have any interventions. Sure, you might be doing some small procedures like lumbar punctures, but not any major procedures. So that's the way you want to think about it. The next PG you may want to think about that's high on the list is pathology. Now, for many folks who are in pathology, the transition might be through a fellowship or could be through residency. But either ways, having that pathology experience can work in your favor. Sometimes getting into a fellowship and an attending position, it could be a little tricky depending on the candidate. But for the most part, this happens to be the most IMG friendly specialty. Next on the list, I would say radiotherapy. Now radiotherapy has been increasingly becoming more and more popular. The pay for radiotherapist has significantly gone up in the USA. Now I anticipate a huge shortage of radiotherapists as we move forward. With all the hospitals bringing in novel technologies to treat patients with cancer, the good news is radiotherapy does have an alternate entry path just like most other specialties. Because you're so much into this video, I know you're really serious about this. And I'm gonna tell you two bonus specialties. Currently, there is a huge shortage of two specialties, anesthesiology, and radiology. These two are highly competitive to get in the USA. But if you're able to get into PG in your home country in these two specialties, given the current shortages, which is unlikely to be solved in the next few years, this might actually work in your favor. If you're still confused, not sure, which way to go, then you can always book an appointment with me or with one of our experts on our website, www.imgsecrets.com, where you and me or one of our experts will sit with you, take a deep look at your CV, your background, and then we can guide you exactly what your next steps are, whether you need to be focusing on PG in your home country or the USA, if so, what PG? If you have already done PG, then can you get into a fellowship, attending, and other options. Any questions do post in the comments below. We'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Take care, stay safe. I will talk to you soon.